<sighs> okay. So, Chelsea, another draw. I kid you not, for the majority of this match, it reminded me of the 2015-2016 season. It did remind me of that season. And I guess we all remember what happened that season. We basically let Leicester dominate the whole match, the whole 90 minutes. Even even when Chitwell, he got sent off. Even when Leicester is playing with 10 men, we still couldn't find a way to score it. One goal, you play against a 10-man Leicester, and you can't even dominate the match for one minute. That's unbelievable. There are many words that you could use to describe this Chelsea performance. It is shocking. It is terrible. It's bad. Disgraceful. And it's just not Chelsea. The team just they don't work together. They rely too damn much on Aiden Hazard, on Fabregas. The two of them work so well together. But you can't you can't just rely on them to work their magic all the time. I mean they're humans after all. Messi and Ronaldo, they have their bad days. You can't just rely on your star player to do everything. You you just can't do that. Conte, he is a top class center midfield, but he can't do all those work by himself. You have to help each other, you have to work collectively as a group. That's how you win, because when you rely too much on your star player, you will have a season that is similar to the 2015-2016 season. But when you work as a group, you get seasons like the 2014-2015, you get season like the 2016 and the 2017. You win the league, you win trophies when you play as a group. Now to sum up Chelsea problem at the moment. There are three things that I want to touch on. Tactic, which I will talk about at the very end of this video, so stay tuned. Bad investments and the lack of physical strength. Now I want to talk about the lack of physical strength first. There's a lot of people complain about the schedule, you know, like, oh, we have to play a bunch of match in such a short amount of time. We don't get a lot of rest. It's bullshit. That is such a bullshit excuse for bad performances. Do you see PSG and Barcelona's and, you know, Bayern Munich complain about schedule? They have a Champions League. They have, you know, the, 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 the League Cup and, you know, the, the La Liga, the Bundesliga. They, their schedule is as tight as Chelsea, but they don't complain. They get on with it. You know what I mean? Like, as a team, you have to find a way to work through something like this. You can't just, you can't just complain on the schedule. You're playing bad, period. The schedule has nothing to do with it. PSG is just keep winning match after match, Man City winning match after match, and their schedule are crazy, but yet they don't complain. Point number two, bad investment. And by bad investment, I don't mean like how much profit you make out of selling a uh, player. I'm talking about how much money we're not willing to, to pay to buy a player. I don't care we're making tons of money selling players that we got for like, you know, super cheap. Because at the end of the day, the point of playing football is that you win matches, you win trophies, and not how much money you're profiting from selling players. Look at Morata, 60 million pounds, a club record signing, and that's just not good enough. How many one-on-one -on -one has he missed? Antonio Rudiger, not good enough, and oh my god, don't, don't, don't even get me started. With Bakayoko. Just don't. The only thing I'm gonna say is that that guy we need to get rid of Bakayoko right now. Let him play for the U21, U19 team. Let him out on loan. Stop putting him in the A squad. He's not even qualified to play for our B squad anymore. 
he's that bad. How many times did we see him passing the ball to a Leicester player today? The answer is too many times. There are rumors about us signing Sanchez. There are rumors about us wanting to sign Arturo Vidal. And even the manager, he wants Vidal. He wants Sanchez. He wants to sign top class player. Kilini. Oh my god, all these great players that if the board just willing to pay a little bit more money, we could have got a strong squad. Why? Why are we paying 40 million for Bakayoko, but like hesitate to pay just a bit more money to get players like Chiellini, player like Sanchez, player like Arturo Vidal. I don't get it. I, I really don't. And before I get to the tactics, I just want to say, selling Matic was the dumbest decision Chelsea had made in a long time. Today's match, Leicester City's players, they walk through our midfield like there's no one there. That doesn't make any sense. Now, let's go to the tactic. Now, this is the team that won the Premier League last season. Here we go. Coutois, not much to say about him. He is great, as always. Um, David Luiz was absolutely brilliant. Um, Gary Cahill, for some reason, he uh, he got pretty good. You know, he got pretty good and uh, fit into this um uh, formation quite nicely and like Aspilu Quetta he is he, he's just the best come on like and I want to talk a little bit about Magic and Conte like this right here you have two top class sentiment few it's almost impossible to get through them because they're just they're, you just can't they have so much energies when they get the ball they can pass this around and like they're so composed and so calm with the ball and like and like this guy right here is like 10 times a thousand times better than Bakayoko and I'll get to that in a minute Victor Moses you know back and forward back and forward and Alonso here you know back and forward doing some defense here and you know crossing not really good cross but like I mean come on he he scored free kicks and stuff but the two um, wing back, they're nowhere near as good this year compared to last year because, again, the whole f fitness thing—they're just—they're not fit enough. Like, I mean, like last year we don't have Champions League and whatnot, but like, you playing for a top class team, you want to win trophies, you have to. Uh, anyways. Uh. Hazard, a superb season. Petro, out of nowhere, just, you know, came back to his Barcelona form and whatnot. And Diego Costa, he he was a beast. Why did we let him go? I would never understand. I would never understand. Um, Yeah, big, big mistake letting him go and letting him go. Huge, huge mistake. Now... Let's get to today, team. Um, you see, if it was last year, um, Fabregas would be like here, right? And then Petro would be there, but like a little bit to the right. He, here's why I think uh, the the three five two is such a negative formation to play, especially when you go against teams like Barcelona. If you play this system, you're not gonna, you're not even gonna get a shot on target, not one shot on target. I'm telling you, if you play like this, because Bakayoko defensively, he's shit. You know, offensively, he can't really do anything. Score a couple goals, and I mean, like, that doesn't really do anything. Uh, Conte has to do all the defensive work, and I Fabregas. When you put Fabregas here, you expect him to know, like do some interchange and like one two pass with uh, Hazard and he did you know for uh, sometimes uh, on in in the match but you want him to be somewhere around here right and you want him to have that sort of free attacking role when he like pass to Murata pass to Hazard and like you know get the ball he here ish or like here ish and like do all this the the Fabregas pass 
you know, but he can't because Bakayoko, he was just doing his thing over here. Like, why he keep popping up here for no, for absolutely no reason, for no reason at all. He, he should keep in mind that his job is to support Conte with the defensive work. Like, he has to, he has to be putting on tackle. He has to collect the ball and pass it better. When he get the ball, he just blindly pass it around to another Leicester City players. And that's just not good enough. So Fabregas, instead of, you know, spending more time here, closer to, you know, the striker, closer to Hazard, he would have to drop back and do all the defense work, which he's not super good at. You want, if you have Fabregas in your team, you either play um, him here, because then, you know, he know what his job is. You're like, okay, I can't go here. That's not my job for the moment. Like, my job is here. You know, I get the ball, and I look for a way to, you know, do that Fabregas pass to Morata or, you know, last year case, uh, Diego Costa, Hazard, or Petro. Last year when Fabregas had the ball in this uh, area, he looked up, he had three options. This year when he has the ball here uh, in this area, he has two Sometimes even one because Hazard had to drop back as well. That's stupid. And again, Moses, Alonso, nowhere near as good as they were last year. Rudiger, not good enough. Like, he has some re really good game, but for some reason in this match, he was so sloppy. Um, Cahill got injured. Okay, uh, Christensen, he's, uh, Christensen is actually really, really good. I'm, I really like Christensen. And Aspilicueta, again, solid, solid defender. And Courtois, without him, without Courtois... We could have been like 10, 11 plays right now. Um, and that's leading me to, um, uh, my point with uh, Fabric has leading me to Hazard. Hazard, when he got the ball last year, when he got the ball, he could either pass it to Alonso, who would be more advanced. He could pass it to Matic. He could pass it to Costa, do some uh, interplay. Petro, when he looked up, he had two options. When he looked up, he had maybe at least two options. This year, look up, he won one option. And Morata, as good as he is in the air and like with, you know, all the dribbling skill and whatnot, he's not a very strong person. Physically, he is so weak. And he keep, he keep, he kept doing all those like dive and like, I hate it when, pe when players do, does that. I absolutely hate it. He keep diving. Like people touch him and he just fall over. Like, that's, we can't have a striker like that. We need a stronger striker. That's why DDA Drogba was such a legend. That's why Diego Costa was such a good player in this system because we need a strong, a physically, a physically strong striker up here. At the end of the match, Conte he said that the formation is not really a problem because when he play um, the three four three against uh, North City and they still, you know, you know, uh, tie 0-0. Zero, zero. That's... Yes, I see his point, but Conte, if you're watching this, this is where you're wrong, sir. You know damn well Drinkwater or Bakayoko, they're nowhere near Nemanja Matic um, level. So they're... In your 3-4, that 4 midfield, you already have a problem. And the 3 is it, that the three that you have up top is not Hazard, Petro, and Costa. You have, uh, I think, Petro here, Willian here, and Michi Bachuai. And that is a completely different 3 from Hazard, Petro, and uh, Costa. So, again, you see how like this system... I guess he want to have more center midfield here because then, you know, it's, you know, theoretically, it's harder for players to get through three center midfields instead of two. But, again, this guy is not super good defensively. Well, he's terrible defensively. And Fabregas, he is... He, he, he can pass... But he doesn't have the stamina. He doesn't have that, that, um, that physique of magic. 
I keep I, I keep saying that wrong. Matic. Match. Fuck. <sighs> Sorry about the rant, guys. I'm just a little mad. I'm a little frustrated. And as a Chelsea fan, I just want to see some change. I want to see the board willing to spend money to buy good player. Like, I mean, we had Barkley for 15, 15 20 million. So that's a really good bargain. Um, but we need more than that. We need Sanchez in. We need, um, fuck, I don't know. There's a rumors that we want to sign Garrett Bale. Go for it. There's, there are rumors that we want to sign Cristiano Ronaldo. Go for it. Chelsea is owned by one of the richest men in the world. And yet we're we're afraid to spend money. That that doesn't make sense. Okay, guys, rant over. If you are a Chelsea fan, let me know in the comment section how you feel about the current situation. And what are some of the possible solutions that you have in mind? Please uh, put it out in the comment section and uh, uh, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I know this is a very different video. I usually don't do this type of video on my channel. But if you enjoy it, uh, click the like button. Subscribe to me if you want to see more videos like this. With that being said, see you soon.